These were 50p and if anything more of a bargain than the intercooler itself because well you can't not buy super noodles if they're 50p. Welcome back to another video. Finally, it's been a long time since I made a video. Um, I think I've still got the same car. It's been that long. Pretty sure I have. Um, finally, I've bought some more car parts and we have gone for a big parcel. This is what we've bought. You've probably read in the title what it is. Um, we've gone for front mount. Obviously, we've gone for an eBay special because I always go eBay special on stuff like this. Yeah, I, don't, I don't know why people spend, say it's like 11, 1200 quid for a Mishimoto one. This was 300 quid. Uh, it's a Jap Speed one, but it's obviously from, from an eBay shop, which is um, even cheaper than Jap Speed. But it comes in a Jap Speed box. But it costs 200 quid less than the Jap Speed version. Um, and it looks pretty good quality, so we'll uh, get it opened and I'll show you what it looks like. <laughs> they send. Ah. The only thing I would say about what used to be when I've ordered front mounts before is that they send an air filter and a short RAM intake all the time. And it used to be really shit quality. But get this out. This comes with it. It's actually pretty decent quality air filter from what well it looks like pretty decent quality, so that might be going on. I've got Ram Air uh, I've got Mishimoto one at the minute, which I managed to get a good price, hence why I bought it. Um you get all the different breather hoses for them. These are all obviously the bends, it's a little adapter. You get the adapter plate, which is handy for depending on which um, dump valve you have on a Subaru. You can either have one that's like that, or if I can find the intercooler pipe, which is not there. In here somewhere. What the hell is it? Not that one either. <laughs> in here somewhere there's a pipe so there's one that'll be one dump valve connection which is like um, you can have a circular one or there's like a flange one that, that other pipe um, that connects so that is your other option that just bolts straight through and you just nut and bolt it on, on both sides for the dump valve so we'll be attaching that um because i've got the other i've got an adapter plate for the other style it also comes with all the clamps all the rubbers which i'll be changing the color of it's good quality it's all good it's good quality stuff i've used japspeed before it also comes with which is freaking heavy a replacement so that's a replacement crash bar because obviously you have to take the original crash bar out and then it's got these holes you can see in it and then holes line up with these holes and that holds your intercooler in place they also send these which is obviously the short ram induction your math sensor goes into there they also send two of these, just a, an extra one, because this kit can also be used for a Legacy and the hatch, because the Legacy, some of them are twin turboed. You have two. So, for the price, you can't go wrong. Well, that's pretty much what's in the box it comes with everything you want um, when I fit the intercooler obviously I'm going to do a video I'm going to go into more detail about how, well, how to fit it and which parts go where because there's a couple of pipes that you don't use because they're for the legacy and bits like that if people are interested um, 
I'm probably going to make like a couple of parts because all this is going to be changed. So it's not going to be silver. It's going to be black, and we're going to have some kind of stencil on it. And I'm going to make the stencil, and uh, yeah, we're going to spray the inner coolers up. Uh, possibly spray the pipes as well. I have bought some paint. I've just been on a very successful shopping trip where we have bought all this stuff. Now, these were 50p, and if anything, more of a bargain than the intercooler itself because, well, you can't not buy super noodles if they're 50p. Um, and as you've probably just seen, we've bought some etch primer to get to stick to the chrome pipes. We've got some black because the intercooler's probably going black, the actual cooler itself. And we have bought some fluorescent pink paint, which, yeah, I'm possibly going to do the STI logo on the intercooler in that colour. Maybe going to do a couple of the pipes in that colour, but remains to be seen. I will uh, spray one up, and if it looks awful, I won't use it. If it looks alright, we'll probably use it. So, hopefully, tune in for the next video when we're going to be spraying up the intercooler. And I will catch you in the next one. Peace.